and welcome to our June 21st Sunday School Session. This is the third Sunday after Pentecost. I'd like for you to go and find your packet of your activities for today and pull out this, the last sheet that has praying hands that says, Listen to my prayer, God. And you can begin coloring and working on that as I read to you our scripture for today, which comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 86, verses 1 through 10. Incline your ear, O Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am devoted to you. Save your servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for to you do I cry all day long. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in steadfast love to all who call on you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer. Listen to my cry of supplication. In the day of my trouble, I call on you, for you will answer me. There is none like you among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like yours. All the nations you have made shall come and bow down before you, O Lord, and shall glorify your name. For you are great and do wondrous things. You alone are God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our scripture this morning came from the book of Psalms. And the Psalms is, a, this one is a lament, which means to say something when something's hard or something sad is in our lives. All of the Psalms are songs of prayer to God, but they aren't all happy ones. Some of them are sad or even angry because the authors know that God welcomes all of whatever we are feeling. Even when we don't have words, God knows what's in our hearts. So when we can't name what feels wrong, it can feel even harder because we don't know the source of our pain. When we do find a way to name it, that can open our path to feeling better. Sometimes prayer can help us do that. Whenever you're having a hard time, you can always go to God in prayer. God will understand even if you don't know what to say, you can talk to God and share with God your feelings and God will hear you. Another good way to pray is when you color, coloring in prayer. You can color on your page and as you're coloring, you can think about your prayers and what you would say to God and offer your fears, your concerns, your joys up to God and God will use them and help you and bring you comfort and joy. Now let us pray our closing prayer. Thank you, God, for caring about us and listening to our prayers. Thank you for understanding whatever we are struggling with, even when we don't have words. Help us find comfort in you. Amen. 